My name is Rachel. I am 30 years old and I work in a company. I just got married this year to my husband, Dominic. The only difference about our marriage compared to a normal marriage that everyone generally has was that my husband had two stepchildren. Dominic had two sons, and they were from Dominic's previous wife who had passed away last year. The eldest son, whose name is Julian, was 10 years old, and the youngest son, whose name is Matt, was 8 years old. After marrying Dominic, I suddenly became a mother to Julian and Matt, but despite that, Matt had accepted me as his mother right away. Compared to Matt, Julian did not easily open up to me very much, and he always spoke awkwardly and was being a little cold to me. Well, knowing that their mother had just passed away, I was only hoping to get closer to Julian, bit by bit. Then, two years into our marriage, I found out that I was finally pregnant and a healthy daughter was born. Although the distance between Julian and I still remained the same, he was very protective of my daughter, Sarah, and loved her as his own little sister. After marrying Dominic, our family got along pretty well, but there was just one big problem, and that was that my husband's parents would bully me non-stop. Both my father-in-law, Kurt, and my mother-in-law, Leah, bullied me whenever they had the chance. Kurt and Leah should have been happy to know that I got pregnant with Sarah, but instead, they both only blamed me for having Sarah, who had a huge age difference from Julian and Matt, saying that it would be easy for people around me to find out that they were half siblings and whatnot, and that people would talk and gossip behind our backs about it. At the time when they were blaming me for it, I questioned the humanity of these people, wondering what they were talking about. Do Kurt and Leah live their lives worrying about such petty things just so that they would always look good to other people? I really couldn't understand the mindset of these people. My husband and I were both working, so we often left our kids back at Kurt and Leia's house for them to look over, and which is why Dominic and I often had dinner at Kurt and Leia's house after work. Leia would sarcastically criticize me by saying, you are a woman, but you do not do anything around the house at all, but just does what she has to do and has a child. What a disgraceful woman you are. And she would say such things like this whenever she has the chance, especially when the kids are not there. Kurt would also try to accuse me of something whenever he has the chance as well. I couldn't really remember every little thing that they said to me in the past because I have been lectured and yelled by both Kurt and Leah many, many times. What was even worse was that Kurt and Leah would intentionally leave out my portion of the meal at dinner and would share my portion to everyone else. And seeing this, Leah would say, Huh? Your portion is missing, Rachel. But, oh well, you're on a diet, so you don't have to eat so much, Rachel. As she laughed at me. She's saying that I don't have to eat so much, but to be precise, I wasn't even allowed to eat any of it. And while all this was happening, Dominic just ignored the whole situation and me, and didn't even try to help me. What Dominic only did was just eat his food without a care in the world. In the midst of all this, the kids would try to be on my side. Matt would say, I'll give you this then. 
and he would try to share his food with me. And Julian, who usually doesn't talk much to me, would also say, You know, this is delicious, and would share the delicious food onto my empty plate. Seeing this interaction between my kids and I, both Kurt and Leia were not happy about it. But I ignored how unhappy they looked, and I just accepted both Julian and Matt's kindness towards me. I think the only thing that saved me was the fact that the kids were on my side. Without the kids, I would have had a mental breakdown and collapsed. Way earlier. But even so, Kurt and Leia's bullying towards me never ended. And little by little, I was being driven into a corner. But as usual, my husband was being very unreliable. I mean, actually, Dominic is completely on Kurt and Leia's side. The other day, Dominic would even say this to me Don't you? Dare embarrass my mother and my father too much. By saying this, it seems like my husband is saying that the fact that the kids are sharing the food with me is making both Kurt and Leia aware that they are being mean and bullying me. But isn't that what's actually happening? That both Kurt and Leia is bullying me? So why should I be the one to be always blamed? I couldn't talk to anyone about what was happening and my feelings about it, and I was just all on my own. I thought about divorcing Dominic, but I couldn't go through with the divorce because Sarah had just been born. And as I was worrying about all these things, before I knew it, two years had passed while I was in this miserable situation. And Compared to two years ago, I had lost about 33 pounds, and not just my body, but my face and cheeks got thinner than before. My weight was average to begin with, so when I lost 33 pounds, I looked unhealthy, as if I were malnourished because of not getting to eat enough. The people at work must have thought that there was something wrong with me physically, because They began to be very concerned about my health. One of the people from HR even held an interview with me to check and see if I was being subjected to power harassment, thinking that I might be suffering from all the stress and pressure at work. And every time that interview was held, I would reply, There is nothing wrong, and showed no signs of what was actually wrong. I really do think that there was something wrong with me at the time, as there were so many problems that I guess I didn't even know what the actual problem was anymore.、And、then one day after the New Year's, Julian, who was now 15 years old, suddenly spoke to me. Um, are you okay? Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too much? I was really surprised that Julian had even talked to me like this because I thought that he didn't really like me to begin with. And since I thought that Julian didn't really like me, I didn't really want to bother him, which is why I didn't try to talk to him much. And this is the reason why I have been living with Julian for many years with a distance between our hearts. But then, as of now, I just received such sudden kind words from Julian. And now, reflecting back, I realize that actually Julian was always there for me, even when I was being treated badly by Kurt and Leia. And even if we didn't talk to each other, Julian would even share his portion of the meal with me. And Julian would also take care of Sarah very well. And like that, he was really reliable. So, when Julian had asked me how I was, tears began to well up, and I cried and cried, as if everything that I had been keeping to myself just exploded. 
I know, it was pathetic of me to cry my eyes out in front of a 15-year-old boy, but I just couldn't stop crying. Then, while I sobbed, I told Julian about all the feelings I had been holding back until then. And to that, Julian listened to all what I had to say silently. Even I could rely on Julian, who was only 15 years old, much more than my husband, who was an adult. After I had finished my story, Julian had finally opened his mouth. What do you want to do, mother? Do you want to leave that man? I want... I want a divorce. I really want to just get away from that man and his parents. And I think doing that is so much better for you, mother. I think you have really worked hard and endured a lot until now, mother. Hearing Julian say this, it made me cry a lot again. I felt so much more better after talking to Julian about everything. So, after that, I talked to my husband and asked him for divorce. Anyways, I wanted to take my daughter and get away from this lousy man and his lousy parents as soon as possible. Once he heard about me wanting a divorce, Dominic turned really red and yelled at me. But in the end, he said, Oh, do whatever you want. I don't care anymore. And signed the divorce papers. Dominic and I both agreed that I would leave the house in a week so that I would have the time to pack my things and my daughter's things. Then, while I was getting busy packing our things, Julian spoke to me once again. Um, if it is possible and if it's okay with you, could you take us with you? What do you mean? Well, actually... Julian then began to tell me the most horrible story I have ever heard of Dominic. That man burned all the photos of our mother that Matt and I treasured so much since that was the only memory we have of her. He also wouldn't let Matt and I go to our grandparents' place, who is on our mother's side, and we both still haven't been able to see and greet them properly even after our mother passed away. Plus, Matt and I haven't even been allowed to visit our own mother's grave. I heard that our grandparents on our mother's side also wants to come see us but that stupid man is telling them not to visit us. I was absolutely mortified and speechless when I heard that story. Kurt and Leia are terrible, but my husband is just as terrible as them. I really wanted to take Julian and Matt with me as well. When I told him this, Julian looked really relieved and laughed. I felt as if this was the first time ever I saw Julian's genuine smile. He then thanked me saying, Thank you so much. And I am also really sorry for being so awkward and cold around you until now. And for the first time, I felt as if I had become a proper mother to my eldest son, Julian. After that, Matt joined into the discussion. I want to go with you too, mother. I was really determined to take them both with me. I then contacted Julian and Matt's maternal family and took them to meet their grandparents finally. Their grandparents cried when they finally got to see their grandchildren for the first time in years. It seems like the grandparents were always worried about how Julian and Matt were doing. I then told them that I was in the middle of divorcing Dominic and wanted to take Julian and Matt with me. They agreed to my idea, and not just the grandparents, but the uncles and aunts of Julian and Matt also offered to provide financial support for me to take Julian and Matt away from Dominic. 
As I was going to be a single mother after I divorced Dominic, this was such a generous offer I could ever get in my life. So, I decided to take their word for it. Both Julian and Matt were also very happy that they would be able to see their grandparents whenever they wanted. And they both had smiles on their faces that they had never shown at home before. A few days later, Dominic, Kurt and Leah, Julia and Matt and I had a big family meeting at Kurt and Leah's house. As for my daughter Sarah, I left her at my parents' house. My husband has a really short temper, so I thought that Sarah could wake up and cry when Dominic lost his temper during our discussion. When I told Kurt and Leah about the divorce, they got very furious and angry, and they screamed at me, saying terrible things to me. What kind of woman and a mother are you? I have never met a woman like you, and you are just the worst. What do you think you're doing with our son? Do you think that he's an ATM machine who just provides the family with money? That's why I didn't want Dominic to marry someone like you, and I was against the whole marriage in the first place. You irresponsible, selfish woman. You should go to hell. My goodness, even I feel like I got tricked into marrying a woman like you. I can't believe that you were such a horrible woman. I truly feel like I've been scammed. How could they even ignore the fact about what they have been saying and doing things to me all these years and still say such terrible things to me? I ignored the words of what Dominic, Kurt, and Leia had said and proceeded to ask, Is it correct that I get custody of Sarah? and try to continue with the discussion. Kurt and Leia both expressed their disapproval that their insults didn't get to me and said, of course, you should take Sarah with you in a very uninterested manner. I guess they feel that since Sarah is a girl and girls are not compatible to be the family's heir, they didn't want her. Well then, Thus the end of our discussion. Since you've finished packing your bags, then get the hell out of here. I'm glad a disease like you will be gone from our house. And at that moment, Julian began to open his mouth. Um, I have something to say. Hmm? What do you want? Matt and I are also leaving with Mother. Huh? What the hell are you saying? I... No, we don't want to continue living with you anymore. You ignore everything terrible about what you did and what you said to Mother. But from our point of view, Mother was a much better parent than you. What did you just say, you piece of shit? How dare you talk to your own father like that? All you both have to do is just obey and listen to what I have to say. That's what I'm exactly talking about. And that's exactly what I can't stand about you. That you try to control everything and everyone so that everything would just go your way. Even our mother who passed away, she suffered so much pain because you were being like that. And in the end, she took her own life because of you. And not only you, but Kurt and Leah. This is all your fault too. You used to talk to our mother who passed away just as bad as how you talk to our mother right now. Did you think we would notice what you were all doing just because we were kids? You are all terrible people and you all disgust me so much. Matt and I are both so ashamed to be related to people like you. Julian's harsh words pierced right through Dominic's, Kurt's, and Leia's hearts. Both Kurt and Leia looked down in silence, as if they could not say anything back to Julian. 
But Dominic was trembling, and because of his stupid pride, he shouted, Shut up! I don't want to be with you and Matt anymore. Get out of here, all of you! And seeing my husband, who was completely freaked out about what Julian has said, didn't seem to be scary at all to me anymore. So, before we left, we looked at Dominic while we all glared at him, and I said, Well then, I guess we won't be seeing each other ever again. Goodbye. And we all left the house together. Well, I was still willing to take whatever I could get, so I hired a lawyer and filed for compensation because of the emotional distress Dominic, Kurt, and Leah had caused, and for child support. Afterwards, I moved into a newly rented apartment with my beloved Julian, Matt, and Sarah. With the support of my son's grandparents and aunts and uncles, as well as the child support, we were all able to live in a reasonably nice apartment. Each of the kids get to have their own rooms, and I would have my own room too. There will be many challenges and difficulties ahead as a single mother, but with the help of my sons and my daughter, we will work together as a family to overcome these obstacles. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.